This is the world's smallest mouse lure. And today we're going after big bass on it. Oh, it might be a really good bass. But with a lure this small, conventional gear is not gonna work. So we'll be using my favorite BFS gear. If you're not familiar with BFS gear, it stands for Bait Finesse System. BFS or SFS gear uses lighter parts allowing anglers to fish tiny tackle and still get results similar to conventional gear. Today, I'll only be using my Kestrel BFS and Zephyr BFS combos, which both have six pound braided line on them. With that being said, let's get out there on the water and see what this micro mouse can catch us. You guys gotta help me name this thing. I haven't even come up with a name for this guy yet. All right, guys, it's been a while since I've been at this spot. I'm talking a long while almost a year so we're gonna see how it goes this is usually a good top water spot and uh, we had a nice cool morning so I figured let's pull up the little top water mouse DFS fish this spot and see if we can get ourselves some nice ones to start out the morning you guys can hear real loud really loud knocker in this spot. so I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to just get it in between little areas where fish might be hugged up hiding on these tree lines and where like a mouse or a rat might naturally fall in the water I'll show you guys what we're fishing right now we're just fishing this little tree line trying to get it underneath there it's a good cast I'm hoping that the fish will get confused with this mouse with the cicadas that we have here right now because there's a lot of cicadas in the area a lot of cicadas in the water Oh, we're on, we're on, we're on something. Barely picked it. Oh, oh my goodness. That had to have been like a two pound bass on this mic or a little brat. That is insane. Just working it real slow. I guess I need to maybe let him take it a little bit harder. Let that drag work the fish a little bit easier. First, first bass I've had here in a very long time. And that was a good one, so that's a great sign. That's one. That's one. That's one. Try to keep them on. Oh, stay down. Stay down. Stay down. That's the trick to be a fest fishing. You gotta keep them down, right? Stay down. Oh, why is he pulling so hard? Come here, buddy. <laughs> there we go, guys. Our first fish of the day. I'm gonna try to pedal back a little bit so we don't burn this spot out. just almost got trouble hooked by this fish. First little mouse muncher right there. This is definitely smaller than the other guy that we had bite earlier, but we got one to stick. I love tree lines, guys. If y'all don't know me, when I'm out here fishing, I love to find little tree lines, fish shallow, fish easy. Go to the fish, don't let the fish come to you. Right now we're going to where they would be sleeping. It's early enough in the morning, sun came up at 6.20, it's uh, 6.51, so we're waking these guys up if they're not awake yet. It's a big reason why I like this lure. It's loud, but it's small enough for them to have confidence to attack at any size fish, it seems like. Should have brought a net, to be honest. crazy thing is every bite we've had has been, or well, the two bites we've had, has been within the first two seconds of that lure hitting the water. So I think I'm going to start fishing it fast. Oh yeah, there we go. That's another one. Keep it low, keep it low, keep it low, keep it low, keep it low. Just some baby bass today, guys. We are catching every dink in this pond thanks to my micro mouse lure. There we go. Another little guy. Dude, he is fierce. I gotta be super careful. There's trouble. <laughs> As you guys can see, I'm a little scarred. I've only had one hook in my hand in my life, and that's all it took to learn. There we go. A little guy. Nothing to write home about, but another solid one for reals. There we go. 
little guy. Oh, another little guy. Another little guy going under the boat. He's trying to wrap us. Oh, God. Come on. Oh, dude, he choked this mouse. Come on, buddy. Just a little guy. Yeah. Absolutely obliterated that micro mouse on that one. Let me get the pliers out for this guy. Yeah, buddy. All right, guys. We got the old worm out. We got the Zephyr. This thing is... Uh, Ooh smooth for a spin reel that's for sure if you guys like light fishing and you don't want to pull out a bait caster or spend a lot of money on a uh, bfs system that is a casting system uh, this one just might be it for you guys really good setup really light real easy to handle um, great drag and the look is really nice too it's just like a clean look you don't see a lot of reels with this like fiery orange color Because this thing is a little bit lighter, guys. We're having to flip in there. I don't know if you guys know what I'm doing. Grabbing that tip of the bait and then just kind of slingshotting it, or tossing it to where I want. Allows me to be a little bit more accurate and uh, not worry about getting hung up. But at the same time, be a little bit quieter too with that approach. Kind of just something falling off the tree, slowly working its way in. There we go. We got ourselves one on the the BFS baby spin. Oh man, he's fighting harder because we got him subsurface. First one on the spin reel. I'm not gonna lie, that fight felt so nice just because this rod's so light. There we go. On the Nami worm. Like I said, as soon as they hit the water here, if they're not taking it right then and there, they might not take it at all though. I think that's like our fifth fish. All have been pretty small little dinks. Healthy little dinks though, I'll tell you that much. smashed smash let's go oh man i love some bfs fishing when they when they fight like this oh dude this is a porky little guy oh come on <laughs> i don't know why i didn't just grab him like that the first time there we go dude that is a porky little guy man seems like he might have been fighting with someone a nice little scratch on his body Not feeling that one. Whoa. That was kind of cool. Just got veed up by some ducks. That's a better one. I don't know what that is. That might not be a bass. Oh, it might be a really good bass. Oh my goodness. <sighs> not what I was expecting over here in this corner. Oh my goodness, guys. Better bass, probably the biggest bass of the day. And I'll tell you why he was fighting so hard. He came up and grabbed that worm and dropped it. And uh, he got foul hooked. Foul hooked on the bottom. That's why we didn't get no head shakes. That's why we didn't get anything. It was pulling downward on him so he couldn't even get the leverage. We got lucky on that one, guys. There we go. Our biggest fish of the day. Not a monster bass, not a huge Texas sized bass, but that's gotta be every bit of a one to maybe two pound bass close to uh, maybe a pound and a half i'd say solid solid fish man i'm gonna let him go he's got some ooh, got a little bit of blood clot right there from the lungs we were recording on the release That's another good one. Oh, <laughs> I felt that. I was like, uh, this isn't looking good. Dang, guys. Look at that. Ah! 
nothing more frustrating than losing our two biggest fish today but man there's only so much i can do i gotta maybe maximize the drag a little bit better and that's exactly why i think those little mouse lures work so well here because these little cicadas are falling in the water from these tree lines and doing that they're just rattling on top of the water right on cue buddy come on chevron just like that <laughs> 